At some point in the test management process, you'll need to retest fixes that have been made to resolve issues. This retest process needs to be approached from two angles. Firstly, identifying failed test cases from previous runs. So for example, in a test cycle, we may have a failed test case. We might want to pick up and rerun that test case in a future cycle. Secondly, we might want to identify defects where the defect has been moved to a fixed status, i.e. the developers fixed the defect, it's gone into a later build, and we want to retest that fix as part of a test cycle. So in this video, we're going to look at how to pull together different types of test sets to cover these retesting areas that we need to cover as part of a test cycle. So firstly then, let's take a look at pulling together test sets which include test cases that have failed in the past. So we can create a new test set and we'll call this test set simply retests. And then we want to include in this test set test cases that have failed in previous cycles. And we can do that under the test plan tree by setting up a filter that is a cross filter again where we add a runs cross filter and in this filter we want to pick up status is failed. Now in this particular setup we're going to pick up all past failed test cases, which could be substantial number of test cases, or we could filter by additional criteria which might be previous cycles. So maybe we want to pick up all failed test cases as part of a number of previous test cycles. So under here in the cross filter we define target cycles and we may in this instance just pick up release 10.8 runs and test cycles or test cycle 1, test cycle 2 or test cycle 3. So these are all failed test cases from the last three test cycles and we can now pull those across into our test set and rerun that test set as part of a different cycle. So the second approach then is to identify defects that have been fixed and are ready for the QA team to verify as fixed. So in this scenario we're looking at defects that were raised in against particular test cases we previously ran. So we've got a new defect here. It was raised as part of a test instance on a previous run. So under the test lab, again, we can create a new test set. Call that defect retests. And we want to identify those test cases that resulted in defects that are in a fixed status from previous runs. So we'll set up another cross filter, clear the original one set up a new filter and this time we're going to go for a defect cross filter so cross filter for defects and then we want status of the defects where they're fixed i.e. the developers fix the defect added the fix into the next build and wants the QA team to check that fix in a subsequent test cycle And in this example, we've got five or six test cases that resulted in defects originally, and those defects are now in a fixed state. So we can pull those across into our test set. And of course, those test sets are now ready to be run as part of subsequent test cycles we execute. 
So the key point to take away from this is that retesting as an essential part of our test management process can be implemented in two ways, either by identifying test cases that failed previously and rerunning those, or identifying defects that have been fixed and identifying those related test cases to run for the defects. Either way, if you're familiar with the way in which Quality Center can support you with this, attacking this aspect of your test management process shouldn't pose any problems.